darkest lights in the Are you here to play with us? <laughs> Ooh, here we go, guys. The place oh, you only have to survive for just one night. Initiation. Oh, guys. I'm excited for this game. Now, this game is just a demo. You just gotta survive one night. How, you know, how, how bad can it be? I am hearing all this stuff in the background. The noise is, is really creepy. But this is a demo, guys, of a game that, that a developer reached out to me for me to play. I'm super excited. It's, you know, Twisted Bliss games, and I have no idea. Oh gosh, there's someone crawling. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so, anyways, this is. This just got crazy. I'm gonna finish my intro here. If y'all, any point in this video, like it, put a thumbs up, lets me to know you enjoy the content. And subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Always happy to have new wolves. I know nothing about this game, but that girl just got bodied, and I'm ready to play. So let's do this. Begin. Ooh. Attention player, there may be bugs or unfinished areas. Please understand that this is still in early stages. The objects and subjects to change any resemblance to this is purely coincidence or spectacular. Specular. I can't say the word. <sighs> you y'all know. Y'all can read it, right? <laughs> Warning about heart conditions, flickering lights, jump scares, gore, etc. Twisted Bliss Gym is not responsible for any type of harm you may experience during your playthrough, such as, but not limited to, chest pain, sickness, nightmares, panic, trouble breathing, rapid heart rate, lost body functions, etc. Enjoy. Now, I am so pumped for this game. It looks so good so far. I mean, look at these pictures, man. I don't know how long he's been working on it, but the t big title screen, the lobby, was amazing. Oh, disclaimer, Twisted Bliss Gym is not responsible for any harm or damage done to you. Equipment or hardware, etc. This experience is meant for a mature audience. Mature audience, guys. Due to the graphic nature and realism of the content, player discretion is advised. Based on real events at a real location, Oh no! We're playing key controllers. Yes, yes. <sighs> that scared me. Every choice you make changes just one night experience. Search everything, even the boxes on the floor. All right. Uh, Timber Manor investigation, FBI archives. Uh, Lee Hawk, Agent Hawk. All right. Come in, detective. I, sorry, Agent please. Steve. Have a seat. Oh. I know there's not much going on, but here. This piece of film is the last part of evidence I'm authorized to show you, detective. Mm-hmm. Not sure if it will help your case, but this film was found on, I mean in, one of the victims. Oh Take my gosh. Look. Sammy, turn on that projector. Davis, turn out the lights, please. That's a big old statue behind him, but um, okay. Okay, so this is someone recording. Does any of you know where you are right now? Ever heard of this Damar Manor murders? <laughs> Why is no one talking to us? Let's all take a walk. You four new fish up front, here with me. Okay. Well then, let's get this night started. Got well, it. this place in this manor has been here for a long time, but nobody knows how long. See, the people in the area don't really like to talk about it, and the ones that do says it's been here longer than most of them. Okay. Well, the last owners of this place lived here for about 40 years or so, but they were not a happy family at all. They were a very secluded family. They didn't depend on any outside help or services at all. What is that noise? So I was there growling. is no electricity, no phone, and no heat in this place. Father Why are we going in there? Timar and his wife Lillian had their five children. But those children were far from normal in any way. Uh -huh. Garth were there first. He didn't talk at all for the first 12 years of his life. He just made these noises and grunts and groans like the sound of wild animals. Okay. Then came Suzanne. She was quite impaired. She could neither hear, nor see, nor speak. 
Interesting. Then there was Morris. The mongoloid boy is what they called him. Margaret was next. She was very hard to look at because she was so horribly disfigured. What is she wrong with this She would drag herself around her house with the use of her one good leg. So by this time, Raymond was becoming increasingly angry towards Lillian and tormented because of the family that she was giving him, of course. But he decided to give it one last go. So Lillian got pregnant again. Dude, she carried the baby for happening? ten and a half months till she popped out a little gork named Andrew. Uh -huh. Andrew was like Garth. He didn't speak a word, just made noises and groans. Raymond Timar lived with this freak show for 15 years till he couldn't take it anymore. He gathered them all in the family room and locked the door. After calmly saying a few things, Raymond Timar turned to his wife Lillian and he strangled her to death. Then he took oh the deaf, gosh. dumb, and blind little Suzanne, and he slit her throat. He took Morris and bashed what little brains he had in with the fireplace poker. And then he took Margaret and impaled her with the same poker. He beat Garth to death with a leg from the table that was broken in the struggle. And then was Raymond Tamar got was a all rope necessary? and hung himself to death. Leaving the worst fate of all to his 14-year-old gorked-out son Andrew who was just forced to witness the slaughter of his entire family. Oh, Strangely, please. though, when the police showed up, they only discovered five bodies, and young Andrew was nowhere to be found. They searched the house as thoroughly as they could, but uh -huh. only came up with five corpses. They found a note written by Raymond describing the whole gruesome act, but some say he's still here, even to today, living somewhere within this house. <laughs> Why are we going in this house? Just curious. Five objects get it into the row, but the harder to find the items will rank you higher in the row. Matches? Okay. Yeah, okay. Something about matches. So we don't have a light? <coughs> Great. <clears throat> Tim and Mammer, October 31st, 1992. Alpha Sigma Rose for Halloween initiation. Welcome. Come on in. Come oh, on in. Oh, we're at guys. Frat Welcome House. To tomorrow okay. Manor. This is where you guys will be staying for the rest of the night, that is, anyway. Whether it's separately or mm -hmm. otherwise. Just don't burn this place down. It's candle lit, and your flashlights is the only thing you have. Okay, we got a flashlight. So remember cool. that all four of you have to stay the night here. Four? Or none of you get into Alpha Sigma Rho. Oh, got okay. It? Well, that's pretty much it. You guys have fun now, because I will. We'll see you guys at dawn. Okay. That's about six hours. And don't climb the fence. You can cut your nuts off. Well, uh, here, you guys are going right. to this. Good this to is know. be your only way out. I don't have any, okay, but I'm now sure I can get the caught. The way out of tomorrow leg or something. is to shoot your way out. Oh, okay, we got a pistol? Okay, guys, let's go. Let's get out of here. Leave these new fish to their fate. Well, bye bye, boys and girls. You guys have fun tonight. Bye bye, boys and girls. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so it's not a frat house, it's like a frat story. Well, greetings. My name is Leonard, and I am the actor that you will be controlling during your night's visit here at the Okay. Manor. So please, let's open up our journal. Let's find out what we need to be looking for while we're In here. Our journal is where we'll find all the objectives that we need to try to complete. Okay. Any kind of notes and letters that we may come across or find during our adventures and journeys through the manor, mm -hmm. as well as the time, in the upper left-hand corner. And oh it's important my gosh! Because you only have six hours to do anything you would like. That's not six hours. It's forty-four hold minutes. Your hand. All I ask you is don't kill me. But you have free roam over the manor and its grounds. All right. So please enjoy. All right. And this time, find time to find out. If you're up for the task, the initiation into Alpha Sigma Row is underway, and you need to find five things for Peter, the president of the row. They are as followed. Family picture, a letter, yellowed flower, red stone, remembrance. Okay, so it kind of shows us where it is. You must find these things. You do not get Alpha Sigma Row. Any other interesting things you may find will give you brownie points towards ranking higher row. Okay. Objectives. Okay, this manor has no electricity. Okay, that's what they just said. Uh, notes. I'm in deep. Uh, I'm in shit deep now. What? 
What am I doing here? This this place is freaking creepy as hell, man. A Halloween tradition for new fish, they said. Sure it is. Whatever. Let's just get this six hours over with. All right. Uh, flashlight. These kids live with these statues. Looks like the statue of a tortured man. Yeah. Weird, but it's almost soothing looking. It's soothing looking. Yeah, it's just a bunch of empty boxes and trash. Okay. Well, let's just go through this main Sorry, room first. But I don't feel like sitting down right now. Oh, I'm moving the box. I'm moving the box. Is, I may break that. Nice. All right, there's a minotaur. <gasps> oh no. Okay. So there's gonna be monsters or something here. Great. All right. Is there anything over here? Yeah, it's just a bunch of empty boxes and trash. All right. What about... Hey, hey, sir. What about you? What are you thinking? All right. Anything here? Uh, box? No. Oh, I can... I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to move that, but... I can. Can I open any of these? No. What is this? Whoa. There's a fountain in here? Oh, God. That looks like a heart on it. Yeah. The heart of the dead. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Do I light these? I don't I don't have anything to light them with. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Candles. Let's keep going. Oh, that's my stamina bar down here. Uh-oh. This looks like the room where all the crazy shit in this manor must have taken place. Oh, really? I can't take it. Cool. Oh, what's that? What's that? Okay. Oh, what's that? It's a spider. All right. Well, cool. This looks like it's sealed completely shut. Oh, okay. So there are parts of this dim this mansion I can't get to because of the demo. All right. All right. I see you. I see you. This is pretty cool, though. The graphics are beautiful. Okay, that goes back into that room. We need to find some matches first. Well, that was a little underwhelming. Huh. I love this actor. That's so funny. Um, what's this? Can't pick it up. Got it. We are timed, so. Hey, dude. I accidentally broke it. Hey, dude, dude, can you talk to me? No? Okay. Uh, so. Finding stuff is gonna be a little bit harder than I. Okay! Harder than I thought. <laughs> Something is here. And I'm pretty sure... He does not want me here. So, nothing in this room. Open this door. <gasps> Holy crap, you scared me. I hate mannequins. Anything in the toilet? That almost looks like a door. Oh, right. I found a pack of matches. Nice. Pack of matches. So let's light that up. Q. 
cute. All right. Hmm. All right. I think we went. We had to get out to this door. No, this is a totally different room. Oh, right. I pack found a pack matches. of matches. Um, anything in here? Okay, he didn't feel like he wanted to say anything. Alright, we're good in here. Let's go back out. Alright, let's go to the other side. Okie dokie, let's see. I'm not finding jack diddly anything. It is kind of dark in this room. Oh, we just went through this door. Got it. Alright. This door it is. This is a creepy room, man. Can't touch anything. Alright. I'm so used to running all the time. Oh. Okay. I forget to breathe and blink. Oh, stairs. We'll come back down. But I want to look upstairs. Because rule of we're thumb. We're not upstairs, are we? Yeah. Okay. Well, I got to give you credit. You're a little more ready to explore than I thought you were. Well, I guess I should prepare myself for whatever's up here. Let's light these candles. Okay. There. Nothing. I'm not finding. Yeah, it's just Jack all empty boxes and trash. Nothing. Dang. Uh, in here? What's that? Eraser? Uh, toothpaste? Nothing. Nope. Oh, what's this? Writing it down helps me cope with what my husband's become. Obsessed. He can't get into the basement anymore. He keeps locked now. But why? I can hear strange noises coming down there. Horrid, vile sounds. Sometimes it sounds like we put up at night and it sounds like something's being ripped apart forcefully. Maybe even somebody. Oh, God. I'm not going to think about that. That's still my husband. and He makes me wonder now. Every time I talk about it to him, he looks at me with his look and walks away. I'm not sure if Ra if the Raymond I knew is still here anymore. Oh my gosh. I, th I thought that was a letter. Right? No? Okay. I was wrong. Okay, it's going here. Need firewood. All right. What's that on the floor? Can't pick it up. <clears throat> I'm not getting into Sigma Row, apparently. Okay, box. Get out of my way, box. Move. Okay. Okay. Oh, the box flew there. Got it. All right, go. We are looking for. Family pictures. 
Holy crap, you scared the living life out of me, mannequin. Oh my gosh. Don't ever. I'm trying to look everywhere and I'm not finding anything. Oh! Okay, that was a good one. That was a good one. Wait, there's something there. No? Okay. Okay. <laughs> My heart is still racing from that. <laughs> Well, I guess I'm not getting through there. Yeah. You, you, you do your thing. You do your thing. This is just an empty room. Got it. The shelf, what? What's it say? The shelf has cold air coming out from under it. Maybe there's an opening or something behind it. It seems like it's locked in place by something. Is there like a doorway or something down here? I need some light. Hold on. Oh, more upstairs. Nice. There is something behind here. Is it some on here or is it not on here? I'm pushing all this stuff. Weird. Okay. I'll come back to that. Sorry about that. We can't go up there. Yeah, I was told that that's completely sealed off at uh, this point. Uh, um, we gotta find somewhere else to search. Uh, that's a master key, huh?
Weird. Hold on. Hold in place. This is an empty room. Hmm. Let me look at all the doors, I guess. That scared me. His face friggin' scared me. Plant? Weird. Nope. Not in these doors. Oh, wait. This one's crooked. No. No. Statues? No. It's only three items on this thing. Waste by something. I didn't know that. Writing it down helps me cope with my husband becoming obsessed in the basement. Oh, that's the same letter. Okay. Maybe let's, let's go this way then. Oh, all right. Looks like we need to find a key to open this door. All right. Let's see, we got a shelf that. <gasps> the flashlight back on. <laughs> <laughs> stuff oh, matches oh right I found a pack of matches all right nothing oh there's something up there what's this I can't take it awesome Damn it! <laughs> you 
fucking bastards. Yeah, sure, let's get a living crap out of me. Alright. Whew. This game, man. It's good. It's good. <laughs> okay, well, I got this screwdriver. Let's see what we can use it on. Is there anything in this room? <coughs> Who are you? We better not to get caught, right? Okay. I didn't know he was still there. Just an old house. I gotta calm down some. Uh, dude, I'm not finding anything. I mean, I got a screwdriver. Okay. Got it. Hmm. Oh, I found it back. Oh, that's not a match. Oh, August nineteen seventy six. Father was angry at oh, okay, I'm not <sighs> Somebody died right there. <laughs> What's happening? just happened okay found a screwdriver for something that was all of the top let's go down all right we know there's a door up or a door behind it shelf there, which I clicked on everything and didn't happen. So maybe I gotta find something. <gasps> Cute. Is that not the photo? Okay. Oh, I need a lantern. Can I have it? Lantern will be way better than this flashlight. There's something strange about this shelf. Is there a, what is what is it? Oh, is there something strange? I didn't say no breezes going through it. Oh well. Oh, 
Oh, that's creepy. Okay. Matches. Found a pack of matches. Doesn't seem like much of interest. Just some old dusty books. And I don't feel like reading any of them. <laughs> All right. I didn't find anything that would interest us right now. All right. All right, let's go outside. We'll go outside because I know we need to go to the garden. The garden. For like a flower. So there's a bookshelf that I don't know how to open. There's a breeze, so we have to find something. And then... What else is in the house? Oh, gosh. Oh. Interesting. Oh, my gosh, how many, how many statues does he have of that? Dude, I'd be traumatized as a child. No wonder. Oh. Sir. I don't think we're in the garden, so let's go back. Okay. There's like a path here. So what, we're just taking a nice stroll through some really dark ass woods for a reason? Um, where the hell are we heading? I have no idea, sir. I don't know. I'm just trying to look for a flower. There's a gate right there. What is that? What is it? No, that's close. That's close. Keep on going, dude. Keep on going. I think that was a 14 year old boy that still lives here. I don't know where this is coming from. It's footsteps. Okay. Where is this dude? Okay, we're here. 
Oh, yes, please, save. If we can save, we can die. And that's not good. Alright, I guess let's get out of here. Dude, Twisted Bliss, this game is beautiful. The graphics are outstanding for a demo. And I'm really enjoying this game, even though I'm not finding anything. I don't know if that's like a demo thing or not, but I'm enjoying it. The atmosphere, the noises, the quote-unquote monsters. And the idea of being like in the sorority thing, which is pretty cool. I like what you're doing. A few items that could easily be pushed away, that's a little weird. Because I know that box ran right in my way as I t barely tapped it. Back over here. I want to explore down there where that dragon is. This looks cool. Let's go. Get out of here. Alright, we're going down. Seems what? to be a key that I need to find to open this gate up. Found All a right. pack of matches. Found a pack of matches. All right, well, you like this one, right? There we go. Can't like that one. Can't like that one, okay. The exit? Is this the exit door? Do we really want to leave? That'll drop us out of the initiation and we won't get into the frat. Okay. Actually, nobody will get into the frat. That drops everybody out. Alright. Um. What is that? Is that the monster's been making those footsteps? Oh, look at it. Ew. Oh, it morphs into rocks. That's why I haven't been able to uh, figure him out. Oh! <coughs> Golly! God, I swallowed my pride there. That one got me. That one got me good. Alright, well. Looks like we're going back into the house. Cause I don't, I don't find no key. Alright, let's go back in. I don't know, we may not be able to find anything. I, I don't even know what how much time we have left. But I am going to survive. I will not kill, be killed by a monster. That is the goal. That is my only goal on this. Alright. 
And I can't talk to you, sir, huh? Yeah, I can't talk to you. All right, let's go this way. Because I haven't been this way. <laughs> well, that's a weird way to stack some books. That's a weird I'm not way to stack any out. some books. Ooh, ooh, where are we now? We're in the kitchen, huh? Like, like this is what I mean. <clears throat> can I just, can I, I'm stuck. Get over there. I don't know, I have to go around, huh? Okay. Ooh, barrels. If there's any keys on. Whoa. Holy Damn. frick. What was that? Oh, this game keeps me on edge. Oh, look, a pack of matches. Pick up, um, dude, dude. Matches, please. I can't, I can't open it anymore. Cool, can't. Can't open it. We need to find some matches first. Are you for real? There's matches in here. Hold on. Um, I think I broke the game. I can't open anything. Ooh, bag of chips. Mmm. So I can interact. Just that drawer is broken. Got it. A spoon. Oh. A lady's hat. All right. Well, Nothing. that was a little underwhelming. Huh. <gasps> Nah, there's nothing really here that we can use. Okay. Um, awkward... Space. Alright, well... You're not gonna let me get the matches. I guess I'll go... Another bathroom, I see. We need to find some matches first. For real! You need to find something. Oh. Looks like we need to find a crowbar or something that we can pry the boards <clears> off of this <throat> door. All right, so we need a crowbar. I still have that screwdriver. Um. I. I have seen you and y'all are terrifying. Go away. Yeah, it's just a bunch of empty boxes and trash. Dang it. Ooh, this thing's glowing. What is this? Well, that was a little underwhelming. <clears throat> huh. Ah, Ooh, jump scare. Creepy. The There's voice acting got a little body. bit delayed from the jump scare, but it's fine. Still, still is good. <laughs> oh, did someone get burned in here? Oh no. Now it's when we got New Year's, it's just junk. Oh, it's like a rotten, yeah. It is rotten food. Thank you for uh, telling me. Alright. Let's keep it up. Another box that might have a spider in it. Nice. Nice. Uh, man, I'm not finding nothing. 
And as soon as I, I, when I went outside, I lost all my matches, which was pretty messed up. Oh, okay, hi. Uh, anything with this bookshelf? Oh. <clears throat> I'm gonna look around this room first. Matches, ah, matches. Oh, right. I found a pack of matches. Nice. I can't light that one up. <sighs> okay. Oh, that's scary. The on this statue looks really odd. The teeth kind of look like pins or pressure plates or something. Like, maybe something fits in there and moves them around to activate or open something. Ooh. I have to keep an eye out for it. See if anything I can find goes in there. Interesting. Okay. Okay, look. You may be ready to explore every part of this place right now, but True, I need to get yeah. a feel for my I'm surroundings kind of I before I even think yet. about going Not down really those steps. Ready to go in there. What did say? True, yeah. I'm kind of glad I haven't found that key yet. Not really ready to go in there. Okay. So I wonder what he goes in the mouth. I wonder if it's that heart on the uh, fountain. Am I just educated guess there though? Something? No, it's a toy. I've, I feel like I've been in this like this whole room, this whole house. And I haven't found Jack. I mean, it's a great house. I mean, that could just be where the demo is. Is he didn't really have anything in there? I don't know. But, regardless, <laughs> this is an outstanding looking game. I found a key. Study key. Oh, that's back upstairs. Okay, well, we found a study key. Let's go use it. I don't know what just happened. What kind of jump scare was it? I don't know. It didn't show anything. It did scare me from the sound. He's almost done. Would you like something for me? Would you take me to the stairs to the front of the door to sit down? Uh, sure, dude. What's up? Well, we found absolutely nothing. Except for a study key right at the end. That's bogus, man. Oh my gosh, what the hell? Oh, there's a... This looks like it's sealed completely shut. This game, man. Wow. All right. Am I just going around in circles? I am. Oh my gosh, where is the 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 freaking stairs? I'm trying, dude. I'm trying. Where? Did 
Dude, I keep going back to the statue. I'm lost. Go this way. I know it's almost time. the kitchen. I gotta check out this part. They might hate me. Okay. Alright, let's put you to the stairs, Moe. Like I said, this is some good jump scares. The monsters are amazing. And I think we just ran out of time. So. Yeah, I mean. I mean, if there was to find the objects, he's probably going to put them in later. Or I just suck at finding things. That could be it, too. The bookshelf, I knew there was a door behind there, but I didn't... Nothing I clicked on it would move it, so... I gotta re- I gotta replay this game and see... How this is, but... You told me to take you by the stairs, right? Uh, you, you told me the stairs, right? What, did I misread something? Hold on. Yeah, time is up. <sighs> I'm playing no notes, guys. I'm just gonna have to play this game again just to see if I find anything different. Because this is fun. I love this game. I can't wait for the full release so we can fully explore the house. But <clears throat> I do I do think <clears throat> I do think for um people to actually like explore thoroughly, it's not enough time. There's not. Are you gonna Sit on, the, sit on the stairs, bro. You want to sit on the stairs? Sit on the stairs. Sit on the stairs. No, you're not going to do it, my boy. I thought you wanted to sit on the stairs. No, I'm gonna shoot my... Okay, there we go. Freaking... Glitched or something. Storyline 70, 78%. Okay, no objects found. Yeah, I sucked at that. No, loose pages found. I have found loose pages. I found one or two. Uh, family secrets. Oh, no, I'm not giving the pictures. Uh, were police notified? 
How were they notified it though? Weird. <gasps> Chapter two. Playing as Molly. I think Molly's the. Oh, there's four characters in it, right? There's four characters. We played one. Oh, ending neutral. Okay, there's multiple endings. What started as a college initiation in the Halloween night unknowingly went out of control. Leonard had no choice but to explore the manor and its grounds for anything that might help him. And down at down, Leonard was sitting on the stairs outside the manor. The sun was coming up, just waiting. Something happened to Len Leonard that might that might that nobody ever may never understand for sure. Something Maybe something in the manor took hold of him somehow and couldn't let him leave. Maybe the man in the yellow suit experimented with Leonard somehow. That's the dude that was coughing, right? And he needed to stay. Whatever truly happened, he may he never be discovered, and the stay remained a mystery. After spending just one night at the Timur Manor, Leonard found no way to escape the terror that happened here. Only the person who made it out of the Timur Manor alive that night, Leonard, wasn't the one. At least not this night. Dang. Well, we got an ending, which is a neutral ending, which I guess means we don't find anything. Um, we'll just have to do it again whenever new updates and stuff come out and see uh, how it does it. Yeah, thank you so much, Choice of Bliss, for recommending your game for the demo. It is a wonderful piece of art. And for a demo, that was, that was gorgeous. Oh, the atmosphere, like I said. I'm big on the sounds and the feel of things. So I'm excited to see what you have done when it's fully released. I will be following. So please keep me updated. So I hope y'all enjoyed. If y'all did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Let me and you know y'all enjoy the content. And let Twisted Bliss know that his game is catches your eye and you actually enjoyed it. Because I did. So I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Make sure you put that put a subscribe button always have to have new wolves and without further ado i'll see you next time guys